Hey YouTube, Daniel here from the home of Random Productions 2.0 and I welcome you guys back to Fire Alarm Tutorial Part 2. Uh, in the last tutorial I got to show you was just this basic version of the Fire Alarm system that I've been implementing in my Minecraft world, uh, slowly-ish. And pretty much the idea was we have our main alarm system, which is the chickens that make the eggs uh, it falls into the hopper which then goes into this dropper which then by demand will fall on this pressure plate the egg and then activate an audible source of choice audible and visual in this circumstance we changed it at the end of the video to show you the bell so just a refresher this is the basic one so we just push the button that happens and uh, the bell goes off so in the next in next part of this we wanted to show you how to incorporate different relays such as uh, a beacon relay uh, not a beacon uh, it's just a strobe or redstone light relay an audible relay a tone changer uh, plus you know sprinkler uh, a detector and different activation methods all within this schematic However, I did say in the other video, the other version that would not utilize the five minute circuit was pretty much this one. And this one's pretty much just as basic as this. This one gets really basic in terms of how it works. Pretty much you're just putting uh, a, a lever here. Let me break that quickly. You're just pretty much putting a lever here. This is your second second source of power and again this really only applies to just pull station type activation and not so much detection so i'm just gonna okay sure i'll just put this blue in here i was working on something else the other day okay so we'll put that here and then the redstone if you wish boom and then boom and then pretty much there you go same concept the difference is is that you would have to come directly to this pull station which in theory that's how these work um, when a pull station is pulled you technically have to go back to the main pull station which the system at the front enunciator or the basement or the main electrical room that houses the main fire alarm equipment would tell you which zone pull station was pulled and then you would go there either with a key or a screwdriver and in some cases to reset them and this is the exact same way uh two ways of knowing how to which pull station was uh tripped is you can do a floor by floor basis type signal which is uh using a redstone light or possibility a redstone torch uh, let me try a couple methods here just to for this tutorial i haven't really fiddled too much with this circuit as this is the one i'm not planning to go with at all as i prefer to do the five minute timer which is this with the relay that allows for the timer to keep going until the system is fully activated and of course the more eggs you have the better off you're, you are in that situation so one way i guess you could do it is by putting a redstone light there uh, or even i'm not sure if it would work using the base as a redstone light versus um redstone oh yeah that works see versus a, a brick you do that that would be another way to do it or using the command block which would tell you what exact location and i guess you could try uh a redstone torch let me see how that would work let me just fiddle here a little bit put that there uh put the red black um Yeah, I guess that would work too. In that sense. Yeah, it would, see, like, but it wouldn't look as good unless you're willing to build something like this. From a cosmetics perspective, that does not look pretty appealing to the eye. 
versus a, let's say, a redstone lamp. Yeah, so. That one's a little, in, that one, in its own sense, although simpler, it, it definitely would be how you proceed your, how you like to make your walls look and stuff like that. Again, the button one is definitely a bit more cosmetically appealing, in my opinion, anyways. Let's, let's just do the bun one again. That's stupid. I really wish they had more blocks, like different uh, areas where you, you have things that you're building with and like a main build, a electrical build column, like six different columns that you can automatically select that house the exact items you need versus always having to reset. And that would be like this. Oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> uh, this would go like this. That and then boom. So that pretty much would be, in my books, the better. And of course, you don't have to use repeaters here, which delay how quick it gets to that sticky pin, sticky piston relay. I'll call it. Um, that of course depends on how complicated your room is and how small it is. Of course, most of this you probably could run underground until it gets to these areas. But that's up to you. Um. So that was the basic uh, power activator one, which is just a switch, a lever, I mean, and redstone dust. It's to uh, the sticky block and done. That's pretty much that. Uh, okay, so that's that one. And this, of course, works with uh, the audible note block. All right, well, I think in the next episode of the uh, Minecraft proto Minecraft Fire Alarm prototype, because now that we've gotten away with the two different types of signal activation, which is the five minute timer and the continuous flow of power until you reset the device, I will now in the next episode show you guys the multiple different loopers that you can make for different relays as well as the enunciator and then the addressable fire system the different the detectors sprinkler sprinkler uh system and different things you can do with the with the redstone light for example putting it in more in the wall and then a, a red glass block if you really wanted to do that <clears throat> red glass wanted to do that you can kind of have it like this if it was on the wall so that would be your internal wall and then that's what that would look like that was a bit more <laughs> cosmetic feeling <laughs> all right well uh thanks for watching this tutorial and uh we'll see you on the next one as always if you don't mind like comment subscribe share this with your friends if you guys want me to build this minecraft fire alarm system the many different prototypes that are going to be coming out uh, in your world as long as it's the windows 10 edition and minecraft bedrock edition for the xbox and even as far as minecraft xbox one edition i can definitely hop over and uh build this for you and if it's uh, in survival mode all I ask is that you collect all the material I need and just place them in treasure chests and I can build them as per your building. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Daniel out. Bye for now.